I'm Clara. Last week, I got an inquiry from Canada. He said that there is an alarm error on the chiller. The chiller is from Halley, and the copy machine is 2,000 watt. Today, I will share his problem and solution. If you are facing such similar issues, probably the video will be a guidance for you. Before get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Over here, we can see the statements. It's eaten error, which doesn't show any water pressure. This is an E12 eaten alarm caused by poor water circulation between the chiller and the cutting head. If such alarm occurs, we need to um, unplug the outlet and return horses from the water chiller to dredge. Here, I will show you an example of dredging. First, unplug these two water pipes, and we need to use an air gun. Light an air gun to get into, and blow air to make the dredging. The second alarm is E05. We can see the customer statement. He said water flow switch. For solving this problem, first we need to shut down the chiller and exhaust the air. We can find the position to exhaust the air in the video. After the steps, the problem is still there. We can see the alarm shown in the display screen of the chiller. What should we do now? We need to check the water pressure and clean up the filters. And where is the filters of Hanley Taylor? I will show you in pictures. After all these steps, the problem was done, but probably there will be other alarms. Here, I will share some common alarms that happen to Hanley Chiller, but attention here is not the specific solution for all the same problems. Please refer to your supplier or professionals for more help. EO1 stands for Low Temperature Probe Failure. For this, we first need to check whether the low temperature connector on the control panel is well connected. We can try to re-plug it and then restart the water chiller. EO2 stands for low temperature water high temperature alarm. First. We need to try to feel the temperature of the air outlet with our hands. If the temperature is not different from the outside, we need to check whether the power supply is abnormal. At this time, if we feel hot air, we need to clean the heat sink next to it. EO4 stands for phase sequence alarm. At this time, we need to check whether the phase sequence warning light is always on. If the light is on, we need to check whether the voltage of the power supply is normal. If the voltage is normal, we need to check the external power supply and replace it accordingly. EO5 stands for Low Temperature Water Flow Alarm. We need to check whether the water pump is running normally and if there is water flow in the low temperature water pipes. EO7 stands for compressor overload. We need to clear the dust filters on both sides. 
E08 stands for low temperature alarm for low temperature water. This alarm will be generated when the low temperature water is lower than 2 degrees Celsius. At this time, we need to add anti-freezer. E11 stands for the low temperature alarm of normal temperature water. At this time, we need to pay attention to whether the normal temperature heating indicator is always on. Check whether the yellow line of the normal temperature heating tube has current passing through. That's it. If you need me to offer services, no matter it's laser carting, laser marking, or laser welding, please feel free to write to me. My contact information is over here, or you can also find my contact in the description below. Both WhatsApp and mail are super fine. But I need to explain myself. Not all services I'm capable of are free. Like personal checks, it's not free. Hoping you can understand. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.